Hi, I'm Lona Maseko, celebrity um, chef, international cookbook author, and uh, TV personality. Uh, I'm the celebrity chef and host of Homegrown Taste South Africa, which will air on BBC Lifestyle at 8 p.m. from the 23rd of March, which I'm super excited about. My thing's always been like, how do we put South African food on the map? How do we celebrate a border? You know, how do we celebrate our indigenous produce? How do we put our farmers on the map? And so when I travel, that's what I'm trying to do, just to put South African food on the map. I'm South African at the core at the core of who I am. And so it was important that we it was a South African show that celebrated South African food, South African farmers and South African chefs. It isn't like a, a Bible to say this is South African food. And so I can imagine the research team had to do quite a lot of work to find the farmers that are really farming South African cuisine that maybe you, that plant or ingredient you can't find anywhere else in the world. We wanted like those boutique style organic farmers that are still um, supplying to market but in a different way and have a voice in what they're doing and the produce that you're getting is produce that you wouldn't necessarily get at your big uh, chain store commercial store you know so that was very important and there was this one farmer that we featured in KZN and he was like he took about I can't remember I could be completely wrong but something like two years to just mend the soil so when you taste his radish it tastes sweet. Radish is actually quite bitter. It's got like a peppery taste at the end, towards the end. His radish is sweet. And I'm like, I've never had a sweet radish. But that's because he took two years before he started farming to make sure that the land was good so that whatever he was farming after would taste amazing. And so now everyone's buying organic. These are ingredients that are readily available. They're good for the planet as well. Like in Guni meat, like I had never had in Guni meat until we started the show. And it is like bomb, like it's flavorsome on another note. Like it is incredible. When we went to the Karoo and I, and I had lamb and we met with the chef there. And all he did was add garlic, rosemary, wine, and a stock. You've never tasted lamb like this. The whole crew, everyone was like, ah, can we can we eat that? Can we eat? <laughs> everyone literally ate that lamb shoulder until there was like the bone left. There was nothing else. So um, it's things like that that we raise awareness and it's about then the people that have the buying power to make those decisions, to make these ingredients more accessible. Whether I was cooking in India or if I was cooking in America, I'm South African, like I can't run away from that. My food's always going to have a South African flavor. It's always going to be bold. It's always going to be colorful. It's always going to be hearty and just full of flavor. And that's who we are as South Africans. We're bold, we're lively, we're friendly. And I think that translates into my food.